Now in this example, there's a nine volt battery. There's two resistors, uh, one is nine and one is 18 ohms. And we need to work out the potential difference across this resistor and also the current that's flowing in the circuit. Uh, so in order to work out the value at A1, I'm just gonna call this I1. And to work this out, what we need to know is the potential difference and the total resistance. Now you've got to remember that V is equal to I times R. So we can rearrange this to say that I is equal to V divided by R. Now in this case here, the value of V is gonna be equal to 9.0 volts. And the value of the total resistance, because we've got a nine ohm resistor and an 18 ohm resistor, and that's the only thing in this uh, series circuit, the total resistance is gonna be equal to 27 ohms. So here the total resistance is gonna be equal to 27 ohms. And that means the value of the current in the circuit, which is gonna be the same everywhere because it's a series circuit, is gonna be equal to nine divided by 27. Uh, so that's just a third. So I'm just gonna say that's 0 0.33 amps. So that's the first part. The second thing is we need to work out the value of V1. Now, what I'm gonna consider is just this resistor. What do we know about it? Well, for this resistor here, we know that the resistance is equal to 9.0 ohms. We also know that the current flowing through it, which is gonna be the same everywhere in the circuit, is 0 0.33 amps, which is what we worked at over here. So the value of the current I is equal to 0 0.33 amps. And we need to know the value of V. So uh, you've got to remember again that V is equal to I times R. So the value of I is 0 0.33. The value of R is equal to 9.0. And that means we've just got a third times nine. Again, you can probably do this without using your calculator to find that the value of V is just gonna be equal to 3.0 volts. So we've got nine volts here. We have three volts over the nine ohm resistor. And that means there would also be six volts left over the bigger 18 ohm resistor. So all I'm doing here is applying the equation V equals I times R to either the whole circuit or individual bits of the circuit. But that then allows you to work out all of these missing values.